Hello everyone and welcome to another advanced PHP tutorial. Today we will be creating a data management class that will allow us to attain table data efficiently across all of our PHP scripts. And first let's go through the overview of our class. Now as you can see this class is going to be called data manager and its only responsibility is to handle all the data access code. For example the retrieval of data from the database. Now let's look at a basic summary. Now what makes this class unique is that it consists of both private and public static methods. The use of static methods allows us to perform certain actions without the need to create a class object. And as I explained here, this class will only contain static methods because they do not rely on any member variables. Now, although the data manager class will handle data access code, it will also be used to ensure that one database connection is open during a single page request. This will actually be covered in detail in an upcoming tutorial. So now let's get started. And for this tutorial you're just going to need one file. And what I'm going to be using is just index.php. That way I can see everything right away. So let's get started. Open PHP tags. Let's declare a class. Class data manager. Open close. And before we begin, I do want to remind you guys that we're still using the camel case naming conventions. So please keep that in mind while we're declaring our methods. Now our first static function is going to be private because it's not going to be accessed outside of this class. So we're going to say private static function and we're going to call it db connect. And this function will be used to open the connection to our database. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the database code. Makes it much easier for me. Let's go ahead and indent this. And that should be it for this function. Now, for this tutorial, let's create a function in relation to our upload tutorial. But first, let's go back and check our database. As you can see, I uploaded nine images. But what if I want to be told how many images I uploaded so far? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a function. So we'll say public static function get upload count and the next thing we're going to do is open up a database connection so we say self db connect and next we will perform a query to count the number of rows inside our images table and then assign it to a value so we say list count equals array values mysql fetch asoc mysql query select count from our images table close that close parentheses and then retrieve our count value so return out. and it looks like we're done with this function so let's go ahead and try it out and let's say echo number of uploads and then we'll invoke our static function so we'll say data manager get upload count and now let's save this and test it out let's go back to our index.php hit refresh there you go. Number of uploads, 9. Let's double check with the database. 9. Looks good. Now let's say you want to display all your uploaded images. So all we need to do is create a function that will retrieve all the data from the images table. So if we go back and declare our function, public static, and let's name it upload images. And again, the first thing we need to do is open up a database connection. Self DB connect. And then apply a query statement. So we say data equals MySQL query select file name folder from images table. And now we have a small problem. 
We have to remember that our data from the database is only fetched row by row. So we will need to create a loop and insert our data into an empty array. So we're going to say while row equals MySQL fetch ASOC. Let's create a new array, list. Every time, assign it to a new index. We'll say row. And that way we can return list. And now that we're done with this function, let's go ahead and display our images. So let's say list equals, and then invoke our static function, data manager get upload images. And then we check if the array is empty if this. And then we go through the array by saying for each list as row. And then retrieve our row data. So this file name folder equals row. And then we need to display our image, so echo image source escape or double quotations uploads folder and then our image folder and let's display our thumbnail so thumb file name and now that we're done displaying our image let's go down here and we'll say else echo no images uploaded and it looks like we're done. So the last thing for us to do is to save this. Let's go back to our index.php. Hit refresh. And there you have it. These are the images that I uploaded. And that is how you attain table data efficiently across all your PHP scripts. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate this video or leave a comment. And I would greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for upcoming tutorials. See you guys later.